Now, there's been a huge step forward this week when it comes to using robots in the operating theatre. An autonomous robot carried out keyhole surgery on its own. It connected two ends of an intestine in four different pigs. Now, this breakthrough is another step towards the day when fully automated surgery can be performed on patients, so on humans. I'm joined by Axel Krieger, an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at John Hopkins University in Baltimore. He helped to create the robot. Axel, this is fascinating. So talk to me about this robot then. H how does it actually work and do this operation? Thank you so much for having me. Um, so the robot has a built-in camera, uh, takes a 3D uh, image of the surgical scene, and then directs the robot to perform this uh, really complex, uh, you know, difficult uh, suturing operation. So the surgery is uh, an anastomosis, so that's the reconnecting of intestinal tissue. And typically it's done by the operating surgeon where, uh, you know, manually, and uh, here, the operating surgeon really just watches the robot perform the surgery autonomously. So how far could this go? Because, you know, it turns out that this seems to be um, let fewer mistakes when humans are doing it, which is a really big thing. So how far could this go? Could they do heart surgery and things like that? Um, yeah, we are excited to go beyond suturing to other, uh, you know, technically difficult procedures, for example, uh, precision tumor resections, you know, maybe in trauma surgery um, and, uh, yeah, potentially in the future uh, do, uh, you know, complete uh, autonomous procedures. But we are uh, definitely a, quit, a bit away from that. I would like it maybe to autonomous driving where, you know, you started having some brake assist and park assist. It's kind of similar on the robotic side with, you know, smaller task autonomy functions, but then, you know, becoming more and more autonomous and more and more uh, part of the surgical workflow. And what if the robot is going wrong? Can, is, there, is there human intervention? Can the human intervene and, fix, and stop it? Or is there some way you can pause it? Or Absolutely. Um, so we call this a supervisory control. So the operating surgeon supervises the robot, kind of watches. And if there's a critical step, uh, can always intervene. So we wouldn't let that uh, robot, not even on the pick, do you know, co completely you know, without uh, supervision. I prefer this idea of the robot doing this because they are definitely way more accurate than humans when it comes to it. And if they, I mean, this, there's so many mistakes in hospitals and things like that. And when it goes wrong, it really does go wrong. How soon do you think this could be something that's done on humans? Uh, we are on, on track to do this in the next uh, about five years. Uh, we met with the Food and Drug Administration uh, in the US, the regulatory body, to kind of discuss what it would take uh, to do this just have to really improve the you know, safety uh, and robustness and a better interface for the surgeon to you know, uh, very uh, conveniently and effectively intervene if something uh, does, does go wrong.